Hey folks, this is Vent with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to try out Fallout Shelter. Now, I have played this on my phone, but admittedly it was a while ago. Uh, based on what I remember, you basically managed an underground Fallout Shelter. I mean, in the regular Fallout games, uh, well, at least Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, you were a vault dweller that eventually made their way to the surface, and then you explored the wasteland. Well... In this game, you actually get to uh, build rooms and assign people to these rooms. Uh, they improve their skills as you go. You can send people out to the wasteland for uh, different loot and different things like that. Uh, but you will have to fend off attacks from like rad roaches and mutants and different things like that. Um, I don't know what recent patches have hit the game. So there may be some new things that I'm not familiar with. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, uh, I should probably show you the options menu first. Nothing complicated. Music and sound. I've got the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. Windowed mode and screenshots. All right, now let's enter the vault. New vault. Choose carefully. Um, I don't really care. Um, how about my birthday? Five, one, four. May 14th. Create vault. The vault keeps people safe from the dangers of the wasteland. As overseer, your job is to expand and maintain the vault while keeping your dwellers safe and happy. Each room has a special attribute it uses. Assign dwellers with the best special to make them happy and produce extra resources. Vault Tech will give you a daily rating based on your performance. Remember to keep your dwellers happy and do a great job. Yeah, some, some rooms will require strength, dexterity, but there's also training rooms where you can actually improve, too. Uh, welcome to your new vault, Overseer. Let's introduce you to some basic concepts. First, let's build a room. Click on the hammer icon. Power generator. Uses strength. Build. Um, I guess we'll build our power rooms. I prefer... I guess we'll build to the left, fine. Now we need dwellers. Look, new dwellers have shown up at the vault door. If you click on them, I think you can let them in. Let's look at the stats. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of strength, as you can see. Special for strength, S, P, perception, E is in endurance, C is charisma, I is intelligence, A is in agile or agility, L is luck, I think. So we can drag him over here. And yeah, see, she's only got a, a strength of one. So she's going to be better elsewhere, I think. I'd like to click on her, though, so I can see what the rest of her attributes are. Maybe she has to stop moving first. Now that dwellers are working, the room will start producing resources. Double click on a room to take a closer look. If you are in dire need of extra resources, you can rush the, uh, use the rush mode. Click the rush button to open the rush menu. Yeah, as you can see, uh, 10 power will generate every three or so minutes. Rushing, 34% chance to cause a fire, but it'll give me resources. Success, okay, good. Now, basically, our three resources are power, food, and water. So eventually, we're going to need to build, like, a cafeteria and... All right, um, let's build a second room. And caps is also a resource. Diner. All right, I'm going to put the diner on this side. And water treatment. Look at the meters to keep track of your resource needs. Look, more dwellers have shown up. All right, well, I want to see, first of all, what she's good at. A. I think she's better, yeah, three, two. If you put your mouse over the room with the dweller, you can see what 
number she'll get. So I think she's better there than here. Uh, we've got two, one, two. Well, let's see what else. Two, one, two. Great. One, two, three. Ah, there we go. It's not bad. One, five. All right, we want that one there, definitely. One, minus two, and five. There we go. Um, so we've got two. Th yeah, I'll do two. And then this one is zero, minus two, minus... Okay, yeah. That mean The minus means that you're going to be replacing somebody else. So um, if you do replace someone else, the room actually loses that much. So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to sign them here. Now, charisma is used to help make babies, <laughs> if that makes any sense. If you put a, a male and a female into a bedroom, yes, uh, here we go. Helpful hint. Male and female dwellers within the living quarters have a chance of making babies. All right, so I could probably put, who has the higher agility? I think one had five, right? If I put you up there, charisma one. Charisma, it doesn't matter. Okay. Special, uh, dwellers with high luck special are more successful at rushing rooms and getting cat bonuses when production finishes. Okay. So at some point, these two... I think we're having an earthquake because I'm falling for you. Ugh. Ugh. Terrible. So if you click on the upper left-hand corner, you can see how many dwellers we have. It's sort of like an overview. Happiness. All right. Um, ooh, achievements. 25 caps. Okay, so you can get caps and other things, even vault tech lunch boxes, which give you various things. These are like side quests. Daily reports. Uh, what do you got? Uh, you're good all around, aren't you? All right, well. Yeah, it's just one agility. It's pretty crappy. Actually, if I move you down here, let's do that and then put you here. All right, so I have to build another living quarters right here. Now, whenever you build two of the same room side by side, it turns into one giant massive room as you saw here. All right, so clicking on, whenever the rooms are ready, they'll flash like this. You click on them and they'll fill up. All right, so now I've got two out of four living, okay, so yeah, we've got more room now. Eight out of eighteen. Yeah, we can we can accommodate ten more, so that's not going to be an issue. But eventually, we'll be able to make other rooms. Like, um, well, here, let's just take a look. Storage room have twelve dwellers in your vault. Uh, med bay requires fourteen. Science lab, overseer's office, radio station, or studio, weapons workshop, weight room, athletics room, armory, classroom, outfit workshop, fitness room, lounge, theme workshop, game room, barber shop, nuclear reactor, garden, water pur purification, nuka cooler butler. So as you can see, there is a lot of things to unlock here. Elevators, so you can continue going down as you need to. I can zoom out here. I've got all this room to build. But yes, you can also send your people out into the wasteland and they'll encounter various events. And like if they encounter something, you'll see like a, a, a log of what they did, like uh, attacked this beast for two damage or had to run away or whatever. And why is my... For whatever reason, my Xbox 360 controller was vibrating. Okay. Um, all right, it's Vault Tech lunch boxes. I don't have any of those. Overseas office, can't access that yet. You can see and manage all the... Oh, that's another thing. As you get weapons, outfits, and different things, you can actually assign them to various vault dwellers uh, to increase their stats. So some equipment might be for increasing your strength stat. So you'd want to put them on, you know, certain pieces of clothing with strength on people in your power rooms to make your power generator more efficient and produce more. Well, I need 12 vault dwellers before I can do that. So, oh, level up. 
Level two, yay. Leveling them up, I believe. Um, oh, we've got someone waiting. I believe that increases their health. Possibly other things. All right, looks like you don't have anything going for you here. We can put you in here. Yeah, boogie down. There you go. Yeah. Look at him go. Yeah. Shake it. Shake it like it's the post-apocalyptic. Yeah. The post-apocalypse. Yes. I said that right. Yeah. Oh, power's ready. You can equip items and weapons and use right away and stim packs from Dweller Information Panel by... Qu yeah, I know that. All right, still waiting for more dwellers. Can we speed up time? Doesn't look like it. I can also take screenshots, which is nice. Oh, this guy can level up. Lady. My bad. Doesn't look like I need to rush anything. 15 seconds. Yeah, there's no, no reason to rush that so close to being done. Only get eight water. And again, the amount of food, water, and power you get is dependent on the stats of the people working in that room. No, yeah. I can upgrade as well, storage and production. So I need 250 caps in order to upgrade this diner. Let's level you up. 250 upgrade this. 250 upgrade that. We can also upgrade this. Increases the health of the vault door. We will be attacked by bandits and mutants and different things like that. So um, we have to be careful. Level up. And again, eventually we would have build rooms that actually increase skills. Like, we, like a gymnasium, for example. Um, if you assign someone to a gymnasium, I think it's strength that it increases but um you assign people there it just basically you can max out their strength skill and then assign them to a power room and watch your power go you know nuts like you'll get a lot of it so that in a nutshell is fallout shelter i mean this was just the beginning part of the game it's free to play by the way so if you like what you see here there's a link in the below description so go check it out it's it's a fun little free game um, if you guys haven't already, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Oh, someone else is coming. Let me place him somewhere before I end this video. Uh, you can also assign them here for defense, the vault door. Charisma, we'll, yeah, we'll put them here. All right, so yeah, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.